Hi, my friends. So welcome to the first part of lesson four on colors and lines. What we're going to be taking a look at here is this colored sensor that we just attach or you're going to be attaching here in the next lesson. And you're going to notice that there's two little lights or sensors in there. What we want you to be doing here in this beginning is just thinking about a colored sensor. What are advantages and limitations to using color lines for navigation? And so we see this a lot in factories and warehouses. Think about how we even use lights in our road. Uh, when we think about, you know, which lane to drive in, things like that. We use color for a lot of different things. And robots can do the same thing as well, using this sensor to make decisions. If I see this color, then that can happen. If I see dark, then this can happen. If I see light, then this can happen. So what I want you to do is just be thinking about that. And... What I want you to be aware of with this color sensor, if you've never had experience with it, is if we're looking here at the code, and we're not going to dive into all the things of this yet, we're going to get into that in future steps, but in our sensor, your color sensor can do three things. It can read reflected light intensity. It can also take a look at ambient light intensity. And it can also look for specific colors such as red, black, blue, green, yellow, white, brown, or any sort of change. So what I want you to be thinking about is maybe taking some time to dive into the benefits, the advantages and limitations of looking for a specific color. And if you're not familiar with what is reflected light intensity or ambient light intensity, I would take a look in that as well because those are three ways in which we can use this color sensor to program our robot to solve possible problems or challenges and be set our way. So jump over to the Slack channel. Let's talk a little bit about advantages and limitations of using colored lines for navigation. Where do you see that? Have you have examples of robots that use color to make decisions? And if you haven't already, let's have some conversation around reflected light, ambient light, and looking for a specific color. All right, my friends, I look forward to the next part where we actually build this extension of getting our color sensor on our robots so we can start learning about colors and lines. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace. Oh, my God.